Hello, I am here with a review of this outdoors go out and explore tin. I got it at Target. It says $15, but it's actually, I got it for $7.50. Let's show off what's in it. Nothing too cool. Just, it's a little paracord bracelet, which might actually be the best thing in it. So you get this little um it's got like a little twisty Set you up here while I put it on real quick. Almost there. Okay, so then when you got, I like the little metal latch thing. It's cool. And you never know when you're gonna need paracord. And if you want to, you can just but yeah. That's a decent little thing. You got this little light that doesn't have any batteries it doesn't come with batteries I should say and probably the best thing in this bubble wrap That's enough of that. <laughs> Here's the uh figure it out. Here's the uh, biggest thing in here. It's got a little flashlight. A compass. Whatever the heck that is and a whistle. One of the worst whistles I've ever seen. It's got a little magnifying glass that sorta of works. Now it's got a little mirror. Say hello to you, Shadi. Say hello. <laughs> and a little carabiner. Just a standard carabiner that you can maybe hook the paracord to a tree and put your oopsie. Hang your food up like if you go on a backpacking trip or something. And it locks too. Fairly decent. And then we got this, but who needs that? I think the tin. I wouldn't buy this unless you just really wanted the tin, because like. This is cheap, a cheap throw -in. This is something that you could get, like, you could give to, like, a 
little kid and they'd have fun with it. This headlamp, I will put some batteries in and then show it off in a minute. But I doubt it works well. And this, well I would have liked if it was a one with just like a little knife and a flint and steel like as the clip instead of just this little metal thing but let me put batteries in this real quick and then we can see how well this actually works so this thing takes these little button batteries that were in there it just had a couple of these little paper things over them and I do have to say when I took this thing out it the batteries <laughs> went flying so if I can ever get this little thing on back in Cause it's just like a little rubber piece that you gotta pop into like a little hole and it doesn't seem to want to go in. Which I think that's a very poor design. They should use some like hard plastic or something. I'm just gonna leave that on the outside cause I can't get it in. So let, uh, let's see if these batteries run backwards because I think you're actually just supposed to pull the top part off and then have this bend back but when I pulled this thing off it just came off with it. So, I think that's kind of a poor design. They should have just used some other type of latching method. But I'll, I'll get back to you when I fix it. Oh, so, oops. So, I finally got this stupid little thing back together. And it just doesn't work. So, I'm going to take the... Uh, batteries out, put the batteries away and just throw the little flashlight thing around this. But this little flashlight does work. So unless you really want this tin, if you see this, just pass it by and just ignore it, pretend it doesn't exist. So unless you think this tin is worth it then I would just totally just ignore it and just pass it by because in the end it's just like a little knickknack honestly it's not a fan. if you want to give this to a small child just use it and go like, hey look, it's a survival thing, or whatever. Then go ahead and do that. But besides that, just, just ignore it. It's kind of a piece of junk. But that was to be expected. So I hope y'all enjoy your day after the day after of Christmas.